Welcome back friends. Here's another haul video. I'm gonna call this the local haul video because this is from a local thrift store in my area and some other things that I acquired. So let me do the other things first. Now these I'm always picking up Christmas. Why not, right? So somebody really liked Christmas bells. So we have this beautiful bell here. And it looks like they might have, you know, either was made um, one of those homemade pieces, but it's kind of interesting, the bell inside. So, and let's see, we have this other bell with the holly and berry, and this says it's made in Japan. Oops, where is it? Made in Japan, right there. So I love to pick up different vintage things. And welcome, if this is your first time, I'm Mary with Reclaim Treasures by Mary. And I do a little bit of everything. I pick um, from garage sales and estate sales and um, thrift shops, all sorts of things. And sometimes I make little crafts. I make little assemblages out of, you know, used and well-loved, but maybe not perfect little trinkets and kitschy things, right? So look at this beautiful bell. And this bell is made in Taiwan. So this one has the little tree with the presents and everything. So if it's something that you're interested in, come see some other videos, give a like on this video, that would be awesome. And subscribe would be even better so you can see. And then I also sell some of my creations and the things that I find on my live sales, which I have every Sunday um, at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time, right here on Reclaim Treasures by Mary. And sometimes it gets quite interesting and quite silly. Sometimes my internet doesn't want to cooperate. So if you're in for a good laugh, you can come on to one of my sales. So this says, bringing in the Yule log. <laughs> and this one is also made in Taiwan. So somebody was definitely loving their bell collection. Then we're gonna move on to a couple things I found. These are candle holders. Now, they look a little worse for the wear, so maybe this person definitely was into burning the candles, right? So that we have a snowman and a Santa Claus. And they were well used. I definitely cleaned them up. Now these, you know, I probably would use it in an assemblage, give it a good clean up, you know, touch up the paint a little bit. But I just thought they were kind of cool. And this was all in a big basket, a Christmas type basket. So then we have Santa and Mrs. Claus. Now these were both made in Japan. These are shelf sitters. I had to say that slow because you know what I mean, right? <laughs> and, oh, whoops. I think they're supposed to be going this way because I think they're supposed to be kissing. So they sit they have like that little shelf and mrs claus says japan still mr claus doesn't have it but they do have the cork stoppers so i think this would just be so cute you know don't have to use them for salt and pepper but just to be you know something creative and a little smoochy smooch <laughs> and let's see the last two items from that grouping were a beautiful um tea light holder and it comes right off so you can put the tea light in there and you definitely use the battery operated ones and hang it up I thought it was beautiful I love the glitter and the green and everything and then this one has two pieces and it's a hanging uh, nativity set so I just thought that was super pretty except it just has the wise men and the baby guess there wasn't any room even at the, you know, <laughs> there was room at the end, but not room in the, the glass ball for Mary and Joseph. So, <laughs> and that just hangs there. And this is House of Lloyd, 1994, made in China. So, very nice. All right. So that was from a local um, place that I have picked up things before this is a the next stuff I'll show you is a thrift store in the area that I finally got up early enough on a Saturday I just want to sleep in right you too probably do too so I finally got up early enough that I could visit them and see what they had and they had some wonderful items 
So I do crafting and um, different things, junk journaling and stuff. And they had this beautiful ribbon. You know, it kind of reminds me, actually this particular one kind of reminds me of like a belly dancer's part of a belly dancing outfit, but such pretty colors. And, um, you know, all the blingy, sparkly kind there. <laughs> and then there was some purple. It'd be nice for me to do my junk journaling and crafting. And then they have this cards for school. And it's so funny because, you know, I've seen these when I was a kid, but we have a cat. You know, and not only can I use it in crafting, I can use this in um, my line of work. I'm an occupational therapy assistant and I work in a school system. So I help children with their fine motor um, things and help with handwriting. So, see? So nice things, all sorts of different bear and star and boy and boat. So I thought these were a neat little pickup there. So we're using those. And then these were so cute. These were, sorry, it's a little bit of glassware there. So be careful. <laughs> there was a set of these beautiful cards and they are, you know, just the self sealing, the ones that you could seal and send out. But I just think they're so neat. There was a pack of, I think there was eight in there. I'm not sure, maybe seven. And then they had the stickers. So the stickers to close the envelope. So I thought that would be neat, you know, write a letter or use them in my junk journaling, scrapbooking kind of things. So that was nice. And then this was the little red hen. Well, the little red hen had a, a poor thing. It is a little golden book and it is a little bit rough. <laughs> So this one I would be taking apart and using in a junk journal. So, little red hen, very cute. Alrighty. And then, a few more, oops, sorry. A few more crafty things before I get into the gla other glassware. This was just a little girl holding a pie with her little doggy. And, but, it was cracked. It is made in Japan. It says dinner time. And it's a Napco, but I'm going to be using it for assemblages um, or, you know, or another name, diorama kind of thing. So I didn't mind that it was cracked. So isn't she cute? And her little doggy, he's like, I'll have some too. All right. And then they had this adorable little basket for crafting. So I was like, oh my goodness, so tiny. And then we had a longer one and couple other different shaped baskets. Oh goodness, they're all stuck together. Okay, so three different baskets. So wonderful stuff for crafting. And then we had, they had some dishes. I found this beautiful Cubist um, creamer and sugar set. That was beautiful. <clears throat> and then at first, <laughs> I thought this was a, another creamer and sugar set because it was in the creamer and sugar set area. But then I realized, uh, no, <laughs> we do have the sugar and this one is a fire king. This world, the sugar, but then this, <laughs> this one is an anchor hawking but it's a teacup. So I guess it was just in my excitement of being at this thrift store. Uh, they sort of go together, but they're not a creamer and sugar, but that's okay because I got a sugar and a, a coffee cup and I could use one or both for assemblages. Okay. Now for this particular haul, I saved the best two for last. And these were both from that thrift store. This says, this is beautiful. This, I'll show you this one second. Blue cheese spread. Now, I don't like blue cheese, but I thought this was amazing. And I wish, I think I had gotten it the day before um, the Super Bowl. But if you're like me, there's still Daytona 500, you know, NASCAR. So, blue cheese spread, and it gives you the recipe. Look at that. It is a California pottery made in the USA. 
but look at this beautiful vintage vintageness and it gives you exactly how to make it so a cup of cottage cheese some chives blue cheese worcestershire sauce and sour cream it makes up your blue cheese spread now <laughs> such interesting stuff right I love it it is so you know 1970s looking I don't know or, or earlier but it was just beautiful and it's it's a big one so you know you make your dip here and you put your chips oh just wonderful okay that was awesomeness but this was really awesome in two reasons and I'll show you why Now it does need a little wash up because the top's a little funky, but da -da -da -da, look at this beautiful bowl with the top. Gorgeous. So I found this at the thrift store and it was actually just as I'm on my way out, I just happened to notice out of the corner of my eye, they still had the, the area where they pulled the stuff from and it was sitting on the table and I'm like, oh, is that for sale? Can I buy that? Sure. So they hand it to me and I bring it up to the woman and I, you know, cause it wasn't exactly, stuff's not exactly priced totally. And friends, if I say that I got this beautiful bowl for less than a dollar. Oh, how awesome. It's gorgeous on the inside and the outside and I oh this I love it but I just don't have room for it so keep an eye out for it on a live sale coming up because it'll definitely be in a live sale and it is gorgeous so that was my little haul video from my local area and stay tuned because that's the season that's coming up where we're going to be having more estate sales and garage sales. So stay tuned. A thumbs up would be awesome. A subscribe would be even better. And have the notification bell on so you'll know when I'm going live or just have it posting a video. So hope to see you soon. Bye.